Hi guys, Mandy here in Rowan. She looks adorable. I love this shirt. It's a mermaid shirt and it was Lennon's and I kept it because it's so adorable. Um, mermaids are my favorite and I wish um, they had have had this in a size for Emma. I wish they had have had it in a size for me. I would have bought it for myself. Um, but she is um, playing with Play-Doh. My little guy asked me, he was having a hard time this morning at, um, going to school, and I said, how about I make you Play-Doh? And I haven't made Play-Doh in forever. They used to love it. I made it all the time. Um, but then when he started school um, last September, it was just like, go, go, go. It was crazy, but things are knock on wood um they're going a little better this year and i promised him play-doh so i made it and i wanted to share this recipe for you because i made and i know you can't smell it but it smells it smells so good <laughs> i made pumpkin spice um play-doh so this is my favorite all-time favorite play-doh recipe and normally um i make it exactly the same way i'm going to teach you how to make it except for i add a package of Actually, I add two because it smells amazing. Kool-Aid, which is super hard to find in Canada now. For whatever reason, in Ontario anyway, you cannot find Kool-Aid anywhere. I think it has to do with the health and everything. Like, they started cutting back on Kool-Aid. I don't know. It's hard to find. I actually just found a special candy store, and um, they had it. So I'm going to have to go back there and stock up. Not because my kids drink it. They hate it. They don't like sugary drinks. Um, but because it's amazing for Play-Doh. So, um, to make the, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I was going to say cinnamon spice, to make the pumpkin spice Play-Doh, you need two and a half cups of flour, a half a cup of salt, uh, one tablespoon of cream of tartar, oh, which I don't have, sorry, I do, I do have, I just didn't grab it for this video. Um, I get the same package like this it's the clubhouse um cream of tartar you have to have it it looks just like this but it says cream of tartar on it um you have to have it or you can ask my sister it doesn't work she came over um loved we were playing with the play-doh with the kids and she went home to make it and she's like oh i don't have cream of tartar do you think i can go without it because it's only it's only a, a a tablespoon she says i'm like i'm pretty sure you need it like it binds it and yeah it totally does it was a goopy mess so still cool sensory experience but not so much fun for kneading and making little creations okay so the cream of tartar and then if you want to just have a regular fun funky colored yummy smelling play-doh this is where you would add um, your package of kool-aid um, three tablespoons of oil and two cups of burning <laughs> burning <laughs> oh my goodness boiling <laughs> two cups of boiling water which I guess is burning so um, so you mix all the dry ingredients, add your, um, add your Kool-Aid or for making pumpkin spice, I just go to town with pumpkin pie seasoning, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And I cannot tell you exactly the, um, what I used to make it like this. It was about four tablespoons, four tablespoons of cinnamon and, um, pumpkin spice and then, uh, a two at least two tablespoons of nutmeg and if you want it darker just keep adding the cinnamon it will also make it smell better like I could have added some more cinnamon to make it a bit darker but um, I wanted to save some because I know my kids will just go to town on this and um, so you add all the dry ingredients plus your spices then you add the oil and then you add your two and a half or sorry um, uh, how many? Oh, two cups, two cups. Then you add your two cups of hot water, um, boiling water. And so you mix it all up. And what I do is I mix it, mix it, mix it as much as I can with the fork. And then as you, my hands are still really red. Okay, please do not burn yourself. But the best, the best way to mix it up and the way I always get the most vibrant colors, because I know people who have said to me, well, I used your recipe and like my color isn't as vibrant. It's because they're just mixing it with like the spoon or the fork. You have to do it when it's still hot. 
and please don't burn yourself please do not burn yourself and then cry to me um if it is too hot if you start needing it and it's too hot stop and wait a minute um but you gotta do it while it's still warm and then you get like really wicked colors if i had have used kool-aid this would have been like a super awesome color but i love this because it kind of looks like gingerbread and it's mm, it just smells so good so there you go that is what I did today. I'm really excited for my littles to come home. Um, I will add the recipe at the bottom because I know it's probably easier just to look at um, the written out version than, the, blah, 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 than to try to hear my <laughs> rambles. So anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> see you later, guys. <laughs>